Hey there, what's up? It's Z here from S&P Gym down at Stockport. Now the video you're about to watch is of S&P client Charlotte. Before Charlotte joined S&P, she was really struggling with her training and nutrition. She didn't have any guidance, didn't have any instruction, didn't really have any kind of clear, tangible goals. And for the first time ever, she found herself being the most heavy she'd ever been. She was really, really struggling and she needed a, a fix and she needed it right now. So please watch Charlotte's video, check it out right now. Okay, so I'm Charlotte, I'm 22 and I'm trained to be a chartered accountant. And can you tell me your background before you joined S&P, sort of training wise, what did you used to do? I have nothing, I've like joined the odd, like sort of your normal commercial gym, but I'd go for a couple of weeks, have no idea what I was doing so very quickly, you know, I stopped going because I know it seems embarrassing, you don't know what you're doing, like all that sort of stuff, all, all those sort of emotions came in and it was like, no, I'm, I'm not doing this. <laughs> so, so from doing that, so quite inconsistently going to the gym, what encouraged you to join S&P? Um, the thing that sort of started, like, sort of motivated me to join S&P was that um, I, was at, I was at my heaviest that I'd been, so weight-wise I was at my heaviest, I was finally sort of thinking like, I need to do something about this, mm -hmm. like, let's... So originally I contacted a PT at, at the gym who uh, responded to a message, but then, um, then ignored my messages, didn't respond, so I was like, oh, okay, fine. So kind of out of frustration, I just started Googling around and was like, all right, I'm going to find somewhere different then, I don't want to be here if you're not even going to speak to me. And, so, um, and then just kind of stumbled across S&P mm -hmm. via Google and applied and had the phone call. And yeah, it just, I was just like, yeah, this sounds exactly what I need, like a training program, like nutritional help, like, yeah. So I think it was bad experiences from before right. that I was just like, oh, I need to find something that, that's going to suit me. Yeah, something a bit different and something that, yeah. Yeah, that you'll fit well, okay. Absolutely, yeah. So what were your fears before, S before joining S&P? I don't think there was any fears, it was just sort of like, it was just lack of knowledge, like I had no starting point at all, so mm -hmm. I just had, I just didn't know what to do, um, so yeah, not really any fears, just, I just, no sense of direction, no goals, no, just that, just nothing. <laughs> what did you think the environment was going to be like within the gym? Uh, I guess I, I really didn't know what to expect, I sort of, I guess my initial sort of thought was like, oh yeah, maybe, you know, I'll just be like going to a class at the gym, like I've done that before, and uh -huh. that was the sort of thing that I saw. I never expected it to be what it was. Mm -hmm. And tell me about your struggles before S&P. You mentioned that you, you were at your heaviest, so tell me about what you were eating and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think I've always been one of those that the excuse was that I don't have any time, like, because I do do, um, you know, work and I do my cadets and stuff, and I also go to college at the weekends on, on top of working Monday to Friday, etc. So for me, I was always like, I don't have time to cook, I don't have time to go to the gym. So they were sort of the main struggles, but kind of realising now that it was all just an excuse. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's about prioritising and yeah, now you've, definitely. because I know you in the gym, you've definitely changed your order of priorities now. Gym is definitely Up the top, there. if not one of the high, like the highest, Absolutely. isn't it? <laughs> um, so how did it affect you before when, you know, when you realised that you were at your heaviest, how did you feel like what was going on inside your head at the time? Oh, it was just sort of, it was just uncomfortable because I was sort of, we were talking 12 months ago, so I was only, you know, like 12 months into starting to work full time and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, the whole getting dressed in the morning, like, it didn't feel comfortable. And then especially, like, still, you know, like, going out on a night out and stuff. And I'd have the, the tantrum of, oh, I don't look good in anything, <laughs> like, all of that. So, yeah, it was finally that time where I need, I need to do something about this for myself. Brilliant. So now tell me about your results since joining because you're on the strong program. Yes. Tell me about your PBs. Okay. Yeah. So PBs. So before I'd, I'd never lifted anything. So um, I am benching 50. That's pretty I think, good. I think my squat 75 and deadlift 70. Right. So, awesome. Yeah. Really yeah, good. Really, from really from a year ago, never having done any of those things before. Yeah. Wow. So what, what are your new targets for next big week? Oh, the next one, I guess it's always just just increasing um, a little bit of time. Um, I don't know, I haven't really thought about it too much. I'd obviously kind of like to, 
start hitting the sort of 100s and all that, like, especially with like deadlift and all that sort of stuff, mm-hmm. like sort of aim towards there. But yeah, just taking it slowly, not doing it. Cool. Um, so what does S&P mean to you? S&P, I think S&P is just a place where um, everyone's here for the same reasons. Everyone's got a goal, whether it be big or small. It, it you know, means something to the individual, though. Mm-hmm. And not only that, is we all go a little bit further in the fact that we help each other with our goals. Like, we all know what it feels like to have our personal best, but also not to hit your personal best. Mm-hmm. So, you know, everyone in here is either, you know, celebrating and congratulating you when you do hit it, or they'll be picking you back up if you've had a bad day. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just the atmosphere here. It's just, it's just everything. Brilliant. And how has S and P helped you? Um, yeah, it's just I've completely got my confidence back. Like I went through that stage where you know I was, I was down. I didn't, I didn't want to go out and all that. So yeah, completely, one hundred percent. My confidence is back. Like, um, and yeah, it's giving me the strength as well. So like just everyday life's a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. Um, I also find that before I would struggle to get out of bed at eight o'clock, never mind at five o'clock to be here for six. <laughs> so yeah, it's, you know, it's completely, I'm not tired at work at like two, three o'clock in the afternoon and reaching for, you know, chocolate. Cause I thought that was, that's the pick me up that I need and all that sort of mm-hmm. stuff. So yeah, completely changed. And things like going shopping and the food that I now pick up rather than before, like it's just, everything's completely different Mm -hmm. yeah because knowing you from when you started to now I've noticed changes in you recently especially when it comes to nutrition so you've really really taken on board the the advice that we give and it's take how I mean it's really consumed you hasn't it like what you eat so when you are hungry at work you need a snack what do you eat um now it's sort of just I kind of find more that like I don't particularly snack anymore. I kind of want to say that I don't really because I have my sort of three, four meals a day. I don't feel that need to reach for something anymore. So I I would just say that I just have those sort of those meals and and that sorts me out for the day. I don't I don't feel the need to reach for anything else. Right. Perfect. And why do you think S&P is different to anywhere else? I just think it's it's just the atmosphere and and the people and I guess so I got an example of, I, I went to sort of a class at another, another gym, I always remember this, um, and I, the first time I'd done that class, so I went up to the, the PT at the front and I said, um, I haven't been here before, like, mm-hmm. sort of help me out sort of thing, and he turned around and he said, grab the equipment that I've got in front of me and find a space. And that was the only thing he said to me for the whole thing. He didn't tell me who he was. He didn't ask me who I was, like nothing. Whereas here, like the coaches will bend over backwards for you. Like if you need help, like they'll, they'll take the time out of their day to do that for you. And, and even if you Facebook message them, like we're constantly chatting to them on, on Facebook and stuff as well. So it's not even in the hours that you're in the gym. It's like any hour of the day, like the coaches will be there if you need them. And what would you say to someone considering joining S&P? Um, I'll give you a thousand pounds if you regret. <laughs> <laughs> right, really? Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching Charlotte's story there. And if anything that you've seen or heard has really resonated with you, what I urge you to do right now is have a look on this page and have a, have a look for the link to apply for one of our programs. You'll find it somewhere here on this page. If you fill that in, send it back to us and we'll ring you to discuss how we can help you move from where you are right now to exactly where you'd like to be as soon as possible, okay? So do that right now and we'll speak soon. This is Z from SBGyms.port saying take care, bye-bye.